Dear participants of the conference, dear members of the presidium, I represent uh, the State University, Federal University of Kazan, and uh, we have people from our university here, and we also have representatives of preschool institutions of our city and of Tatarstan Republic, and I would like to thank the organizers for the invitation to that forum. And uh, uh, practically every year we take part in this event, and uh, we also can uh, speak about the wide interest uh, in Tatarstan towards this uh, conference. Uh, so today's report is about the most simple things in our communication with the children, how we engage people to the rules. And we engage them are to stick into the rules every day, every hour. And uh, our children uh, turn out to be the objects of our requests and on the rules. Uh, when we uh, tell them to be polite, uh, we prevent them from bad behavior so that uh, they are diligent with their attacks, etc. And with that simplicity over days, a communication and uh, address to the children, there are behind uh, some uh, complicated uh, psychological mechanisms. And the mechanism, thanks to which children uh, lose their creative potential, uh, sometimes vice versa, they acquire it. Uh, because of the cooperation and interaction with the children, uh, when uh, they get acquainted with the cultural uh, rules, we have some complicated moments. Uh, when uh, the child loses his adequate self-evaluation, loses self-confidence. And uh, when a child complies with the uh, cultural rule, that's a very important point, and compliance with the rules, well, behind there are some complicated psychological mechanisms. And I will report about this. Uh, so development of a child and uh, happens within social relations with the parents, kindergarten caregivers, and adults help to socialize children, and the adult's role is to translate or the rules of the culture, and the child needs to adopt his, the cultural rule. That's the cultural congruence. Cultural congruence is an indicator of compliance uh, in line uh, with uh, the uh, social rules uh, characteristic for the social development situation. Uh, I would like to draw your attention uh, to the definition. Talking about cultural congruence, we are not talking about only compliance with the rules. Uh, well, I mean, there are lots of rules, and they vary from culture to culture, and they vary from situation to situation, but uh, still there is a stable, constant set of rules, characteristics, for a certain culture or certain age. Uh, with the age, the range of rules also tend to change. Some of them uh, pr may, uh, preserve and uh, maintain, some uh, reappear or disappear. And we focus less on them, but this uh, cultural congruence, this uh, compliance, uh, of the child's behavior with the rules is evident, and this is uh, something that we witnessed. Uh, this is the behavioral indicator, uh, which helps us and it helps us uh, to identify the gaps and incompliances in child's behavior. And in his uh, interaction, and I would like to uh, draw your attention uh, to that phenomenon. Uh, 
pedagogical influence of the uh, adult uh, is uh, shaping of the uh, behavior uh, in line with the rules. And this is a complicated process. It happens on the uh, edge of natural and cultural. So we limit the natural activity of the child, his natural wishes and motives uh, when he gets acquainted to the rules as rules. And this happens in a special situation uh, when uh, we request him to obey to the rules. So it uh, called uh, no normal situation in psychology. And uh, Viraksa introduced uh, this uh, normative situation to uh, psychological uh, science, uh, which is uh, defined as uh, the circumstances and rules uh, which uh, define the object certain actions. And these uh, rules are evident and understandable. If a person uh, complies with the behavioral patterns, he's identified with the culture. And I think this is something that we feel when a person gets to a different culture, uh, especially to a culture uh, where he doesn't know the local rules. And this person is uh, perceived as an ally there. So culture is normative. It regulates the behavior. And uh, we also have this uh, clear understanding in child psychology about this. In a normal uh, situation, so there are rules and two subjects. One is agent of the culture, which is adult, and the subject is the uh, a child. He acquires the cultural norm and consciously or subconsciously starts to behave in line with the cultural rules. And uh, we conducted a study uh, of creativity of children based on the uh, behavior compliance with the rules. And it turned out the higher the cultural congruence, meaning compliance, uh, the lower the creativity of the child. This paradox tells us about the trend uh, when uh, standard uh, behavior causes loss of creative abilities in a child. On the other hand, the child cannot be part of social relations if his behavior is not in line with the cultural norms. On the other hand, complying with the cultural uh, rules, the child becomes less creative, and this causes many problems in child psychology. Uh, well, the first is how different the rules are for child. The content of the rules uh, vary from stage to stage and age. What are the differences between of the rules in different cultures for children? And uh, also, uh, there are some constant uh, rules, and their compliance uh, with them uh, identifies uh, compliance with the cultural context, and also the rules develop. Uh, we develop the algorithm uh, to... Uh, uh, study the congruence and created uh, special patterns for preschool and early school children. And uh, uh, these are self-control, regulation, and uh, for preschool children, safety rules are important and also meeting the expectations of the adult. And for early childhood, uh, study activity uh, behavior and uh, we need, it's important to understand the rules for the child so that it uh, triggers and shapes his uh, personality. We studied the content of the rules. We offered questionnaires for parents and for uh, children and for teachers. Um, and we identified about one thousand rule for each uh, day. And uh, the anal comparative analysis and grouping of the factor analysis uh, made it possible to identify all of the rules for children can uh, be united to, into four factors or four groups. So the first factor uh, is uh, obedience uh, to what the adult says uh, and uh, uh, safety uh, is uh, Factor number two, uh, these are the factors of compliance uh, with the normal situation. And uh, as for uh, safety, these are the dangerous consequences causing the actions 
I wish violate the rules. We call this safety. The third phase is hygiene. So these are the rules aiming at uh, self-service and hygiene and self-control. Uh, limited uh, is a limitation of uh, impulses and uh, also um, um, obedience to the rules. And so all of those rules can be grouped and the more standard situation uh, of a child when he interacts with the culture is kind of structured, very structured. Child socialization is a regulated process where the social situation it itself in its basis is a cultural situation, which means it's a standard situation. And so uh, this is uh, the scheme how uh, we uh, present this, this, the model of interaction of preschool, a child and the culture. And uh, it's a normative because it's cultural. And the interaction with the culture of a child is arranged uh, through uh, the uh, four groups of uh, rules mainly. And I would like to mention that during the study we had other rules as well. Not only uh, that, also constant rules based on psychometric parameters when we were developing that method. And we uh, lost some of the rules that uh, we wanted to maintain when we were developing the method, but they were atypical. The rules supporting, let's say, uh, I don't know, uh, careful care of the children and the plants. And those rules were mentioned uh, by the caregivers and the train, but they were quite rare in the populations that we started. And we had a representative big sampling. And also, uh, this simplified uh, scheme, uh, well, faces a lot of resistance. Uh, because of the variety of our interaction schemes, but such a structure of the culture is present anyway. And when we study in psychology uh, children in a certain situation, uh, we try to identify how the child sees the rules and whether they see them at all. Uh, what's his relation to the rules and uh, whether he has certain uh, dispositions and how they work towards that norm. Any culture uh, is uh, uh, facing the human uh, as the object uh, of the culture. And any situation is a cultural situation, so the question is about arranging that uh, pro process and do we preserve the objectivity of the child and what is the reason for resistance and what makes it possible for the child to remain a unique object? And the Russian philosophers also were asking themselves these questions. Birdyaev, Losiev, Lotsman, and Ilyenkov uh, were writing articles about this and they would like to emphasize uh, so pedagogy and psychology of early childhood are very close to philosophy and many philosophical sources speak of the fact uh, that the reason and the cause for uh, shaping of uh, personality is development of thinking and a good proof of that word is the well-known work by Ilyenkov. The school uh, should uh, teach uh, to think and we all know this uh, work and the thinking person is not only a personality in engaged in the process. A thinking person is the source of development of the culture, the person who can create unique products in his creative process. Socialization uh, of the child through thinking uh, triggers a different pedagogy of the early childhood, a dialogue, uh, teaching uh, where uh, the child uh, can uh, be, uh, become a subject with the help of thinking. Uh, we started cultural congress and thinking the goal of this study was to identify what are the peculiarities of uh, early uh, children uh, with a different uh, congress of behavior versus the norms. High congress children have higher uh, levels uh, of uh, logical and formal thinking. Uh, they are better at uh, identifying the uh, cause and consequence uh, 
interrelation, correlation, and uh, so the are quite uh, related. So these are uh, the uh, results of uh, in a correlation uh, scheme. And I would like to remind you that in the beginning I was speaking about uh, creativity uh, and uh, cultural congruence and uh, the, but they are linked with uh, logical thinking. People with low level of cultural congruence, so to a lesser extent, they comply with the uh, rules of behavior. Uh, they are better at solving uh, problems, better. Uh, they have a dialectic thinking which speaks of creative potential and socialization and uh, also adaptation of cultural norms is a very complicated uh, process and it becomes complicated at each stage. And I would like to uh, say what Zinchenko mentioned about the dra drama of this development. Uh, the drama of development remains the drama of enlivening of a person into the world, of uh, uh, making uh, the world uh, with a soul and of his survival. Asymmetric processes provide for survival of the person, of the uh, human being, and of the humanity. Uh, Vygotsky uh, underlines, uh, sorry, Zinchenko underlines that uh, Vygotsky could not think that uh, personified is a good adult and uh, he is happy to meet uh, the uh, child in uh, early childhood, waiting for the sensitive period. And after he waited for that, it uh, gets into the psychology of the child. After that, he's extraized and after amplification, gets back inside and Vygotsky uh, supported the, di uh, the uh, dialectic uh, interrelation uh, between a person and the exterior world. Well, the behavior of early childhood, uh, of early child uh, preschool children is linked to uh, the most important theoretical basis and fun fundamentals. Peculiarity of the social situation of development of a preschool in, in interrelation and interaction with the adult. Uh, this is the uh, role play uh, with compliance uh, to the behavior rules and the roles and the plots uh, with the of the game and there was a wonderful uh, report on the role uh, of uh, a play in development of the personality uh, of a child by Professor Smirnov and we were listening uh, to the report and in that presentation those points were emphasized as the third and the most important uh, point and assumption uh, of uh, development of a child is development uh, of his thinking abilities and further socialization uh, of early uh, childhood uh, ch early children and the teens of course course uh, are triggered by the difference in cultural uh, rules and in our study uh, we uh, conducted also a study of the uh, school children, and uh, we use the same methods. Uh, uh, we um, offered questionnaires to teachers and the parents and uh, to identify the rules. Here it turned out that the range of the rules is uh, smaller, but uh, they have higher differentiation in, in terms of groups. So that's why for early uh, uh, school children, we identify six groups of uh, rules, uh, which is uh, social interaction, uh, study competence, self-control, obedience, self-service, and uh, regulation. And here self-control remains obedience, but here the rule about safety so while we change the cultural context, I'd like to highlight. So I'd like to uh, say that uh, a lot of factors interact with each other. And here I can see uh, the quote of our uh, classic of pedagogics, uh, the Barozhets, uh, Alexander Nikolaevich, the functional reserve for the consequent stage is in the previous one. 
So they are corresponding. Speaking about the development of cultural congruence in the preschool kids, it is being developed in the primary school. So unfortunately, I do not have more time. So let me finish then. So I'd like to quote uh, Pajovic, uh, the appearance uh, uh, in kid uh, to the end of the preschool age, correspondingly sustainable hierarchy structure of the motives make uh, uh, the person out of uh, just uh, situative, uh, which is obedient but they influenced irritators on him and other incentives into the person with the inner unity and uh, organization. So uh, let me show you another picture. Cultural situation is a historical issue and the situation of uh, transfer of the norms right now and their application are being transformed. Uh, nowadays. There is the issue of the scientific uh, reflection of the situation, how the kid gets uh, the role and what's the role of uh, the virtual reality tools which, uh, apply, which are applied to our kids today. So thank you very much for your attention.